up, man? Got your mail, bro. What the? Don't you have a family to go home to? Some kids, you know, something like that? Yeah, Why do you always okay. stop out here? <laughs> First of all, before I answer that question, what the hell are you doing with these counters, man? You, you up here trying to, you trying to take over the world? You trying to conjure some demons? And yes, I do have a family to go home to, but why do I want to go home to a napping, harping, annoying, complaining ass wife asking me to do stuff around the house all the time like I'm some merry man or something? All right, I'm going to be with this woman for the rest of my life, all right? My life. Sometimes I need a break, man. <sighs> Every day. Listen. The candles are for my ambiance when I'm in my complete solitude. <laughs> And secondly, see, that's exactly what I don't want. That's why I stay single. Because I don't need any headaches right now. Okay, you say that now, but one day, my friend, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna want that headache. Uh, never mind, you still got that headache. Man, why you still call that girl? What's the ass that good? Stop it, please, all right? It's Lisa, she's a good girl. You know, we were just young and we made a few mistakes. Mistakes, my ass? Listen, man. <clears throat> Somebody living your life from day to day with no explanation is not a mistake. It's not a mistake. You coming home, finding your girl face down, ass up, telling my, oop, baby, I'm sorry I landed like this in the bed is not a mistake. And not to mention, all right, that she was with her so-called best friend who was her ex-boyfriend while you was in the hospital having surgery. That's not a mistake. Listen, I'm only telling you because I love you, man. Lisa's not the one. Move on. I have moved on. Really? You okay. moved on? How many times have you called her today? I, I, it was just, um, well, it was because the call, the signal, the first time, and it was three times. But then I, I sent a text because it was, it was a good day. I sent her a smiley face, so it, it doesn't really count. A smiley face, man? Come on, Ricky, man, it's been five years. When are you gonna divergentize yourself again and just realize you need some pussy? Why do you always have to use that word? What, pussy? Yes! <laughs> You make it sound like it's some type of reward or something. Mm. It is a reward. Do you know the, the, the health benefits of pussy? They, got, they even got a coochie credit card coming out. Listen, mm. pussy has been the uplifting of brotherhood for the last century. Man, Frederick Douglass was getting ass. Even Colonel Sanders was getting ass. But why don't you go get with it? No, you need to get with it. No, you go no, get with you it. you need to get no. with it. Listen, let's just stop, okay? Because I'm a little too grown right here and I'm feeling that right now coming on to me. Like, when I lay down, I will lay down. Am I? Well, lay down then. Speaking of, when was the last time you got some? Huh? What? When was the last time you got some ass, man? I, yeah, I, you, I mean, you, you'd be listening to Joe. Well, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, okay? I do what I do when I can, when I can. I bust whenever. That's, I do. Says the man who's been celibate since 2008. Come on, desert penis. That thing be done up. <gasps> When we go get some ass. Come on, man. I'm only telling you because you're my homie, okay? All right? You got to get together, man. You're about to be 30 in two months. So what? Listen, I'm not afraid about getting older. Maybe you are, but I'm going to embrace my 30s fully. Embrace what? You ain't got nothing or no one to embrace. Where am I going to find a decent woman at anyway nowadays? Most of them that I run into, and let's talk about that. Most of them, they either have a boyfriend, they're married, have, have kids, they're, they're turned up in a club somewhere, popping bottles with God knows who. Listen, right now, the most important thing, I need to focus. God's going to find me the right oh, woman. I know he is. Oh, my God. Oh, we are gathered here today to once again hear you say something about God. Man, what you think God is up in heaven like? Yo, you know what, my little son of yours, I'm going to just part the Red Sea and then plant a girl in your bed? Listen, who the hell do you think you are? If that's what the world is offering you, none but baby mamas, ratchet chicks turn up in the club, girls with lace front eyelashes even, girls that's pregnant, it, it, <laughs> listen, you have to settle down and compromise. Do you even hear yourself right yes, now? Yes, I'm saying it. Do you really hear yourself Yes, right you now? want me to take my ears off and listen to myself? No, so yes. I guess that's why you're home and you're married to a woman with kids that aren't even yours. Ooh. Why am I even listening to you? Why don't you go home to your wife? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and your family, your, your, your children. Okay. Please. All right. Okay. I'll do that. But before I leave you, my little tight ass friend, what events are you being invited to these days? Nice. Look, it's right there. The proof is in the pudding. Weddings, baby showers, graduations, bar mitzvahs, quinceaneras. All that shit is right in there. All right? Listen, man. <laughs> the 
fun's over, man. You need to turn yourself in. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. And man, before you do all the other stuff, make sure you order out the school fundraiser thing up in there, man. Page number seven, section C, the chocolate eclairs. That's my favorite. Man, I love you, man. Punk ass. Using the doorbell, Mom. <laughs> Hello, me. I have a key. It doesn't matter if you have a key, Mom. I'm grown. Oh, man. Besides, what if I was in here doing something? Doing something? Like what? Like. I don't know, Mom. Just. Like, like something. cracking your fat? Couch hockey for one? What? Doodle whacking? Mom. Hitchhiking to heaven. What are you talking Being about? Your own best friend. Uncle Custard's last stand. Ma, 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 please. Oh, I don't know where you're getting all this stuff from. Please, stop, okay? And that, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying, what if I was in here with a woman, a lady? Oh, please, child. Everybody knows you haven't had a girlfriend since Lisa left you. And Lord knows when you're gonna move in from that. Mm -mm -mm. You know, sometimes, sometimes I wonder about you. You wonder what? I don't know if you got to the point in your life where maybe you, maybe you don't like women anymore. I don't whoa, know. whoa, 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 mom, 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 stop, stop. I just really. don't know. No, no, I, I love women. <laughs> I, okay. Relax. I, I love women. Okay. I just, I don't know. I just haven't found anybody now. Have you decided what you're gonna do for your thirtieth birthday? That's what I want to know. Mm, yeah, that's that homemade good. cooking, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, it's just another birthday, okay? No, it's not, honey. It's the 30. It's the dirty 30. It's time to settle down. Have a family. Let's have some kids. Okay, I'm sorry. I just... I don't want you to be alone forever. <laughs> I'm not going to be alone. Oh, so that's funny. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm actually going to have a date tomorrow. What? Shut up. Yep. You are not. I am. With who? Oh, uh, with, with a woman. With a woman? Well, I, mean, uh, I had lunch with in the city yesterday. Who, who is she? What does she do? What? Tell me. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. So, what school does she teach at? I mean, what? She teaches, um, I, well, we didn't get into that, but she's an English teacher. I do know that, but uh -huh. we, didn't, we didn't talk about it because we're probably going to talk about it on the date that we're going to have tomorrow. Right. Okay. So, all right. So this is good. This is good. Where are you going to take her? Or what are you going to do? Um, I don't know. I was, I was thinking about something usual. I'm, just gonna I'm excited. Maybe movie, dinner, here. <laughs> so boring. I've got it. I've got a great idea. Check this out. Okay. You invite her over, and then I'll cook for you some of this good old grub. Then you can pretend like you cooked it for her, and then she'll fall in love with you. I mean, how could she resist? You're a great looking guy. You've got this great house, great job. You live alone, no kids, and you can cook. I can see, I can see the wedding right now. I can see it. Mom, stop you about to make me throw up. <laughs> Right, listen. Okay, I'm sorry. I, just, I can't even cook scrambled eggs. How am I going <laughs> to do that? You know, the best thing, I, I don't even know how to make a salad. Oh, who cares? That doesn't matter. You don't need to tell her all of that in the beginning, you know? And then after she falls in love, it'll be too late anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My mother, a scam artist. Anyway, so, 
So I was assessing your proposal that, you know, you were talking about the other day, and it, it, it is quite interesting. And, hey, wait, you know, you might make a little sense. Wait, say it again? Wait, wait, did you I'm just... not repeating it. You heard me. I, I'm just shocked because, honestly, I would have never thought you would be giving me props all of a sudden. See, my proposal, my proposal. So you're telling me you need me, right? Just say, can you just please, can I hear you say you need me to hook you up with somebody? I need you to listen to what I just said and then deliver whatever else you have to tell me about your proposal, okay? Thank you. All right. So you need me to hook you up? None of your sleazy leftovers, okay? Oh, trust me, man. You're not worthy of any of my sleazy leftovers. But listen, I do have a fresh line of fresh meat that's never, ever been touched. At least not by me. Jess, I'm serious. I'm serious too, man. Trust me, okay? Let me see this. All right. All right, here we go. Come here, come here. You see this girl right here? Wait. Put your glasses on, Mr. Rogers. You hey, see this girl right here? That's Strawberry London. She's so fine. And then you got... Blueberry Becky, okay? Look, 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 look. And then you got my personal favorite right here. You ready? Chocolate Thunder. You can't even see her face. But that's the whole point, man. You ain't want to see her face anyway. Oh, man. Listen, you know what? I'm sorry. This was, <laughs> this was a bad idea, man. But thank you. But no, thank you. Oh, here you go. Before you start judging, okay, I have you know Strawberry London is actually a doctor, okay? Okay, soon to be. She's in medical school. And Blue Bay Becky, she's about to be a lawyer. Man, look, two great girls, great head on their shoulders. They fine. Right up your stuck-up ass alley. Listen, man, I'm not going to date a stripper, okay? I don't even respect any woman that does that. I don't care what anybody says, but life cannot get that bad that you got to subject yourself to selling your body for money. I don't judge. Okay, everybody got a story. I, listen, I got a story. You ever had honey dripping off your chest for another man's pleasure? Don't judge me. See, that's the point why I told you that, okay? Right. It doesn't matter. Listen, I just try to help out. Uh -huh. But trust me, Blueberry Becky is the one for you. Listen, okay? I'm gonna be clear. I'm not gonna date anybody named Blueberry Becky Strawberry, frosted, flake, chocolate, thumb, or whatever you call in these girls. London. Huh? London. If you're gonna disrespect these hoes, you at least gotta get their name right, man. But then again, I don't even think you're ready for Strawberry London, okay? And Chocolate Thunder, you know. I'm trying to bring some <sighs> thunder on that. So I'm gonna just say that for a rainy day. But Blueberry Becky is the one for you. Trust me. Trust so me. You're, you're, you're basically asking me to turn a hoe into a housewife. Hey, right? That, that's so crass. That's crass. Why would you say that, man? Listen, if anybody could save the hoe, I know it's you. I know you got a cape up in your uh, closet, all right? You just jump down, have your penis out, be like, I'm here to save you, hoe. Why Come you always got to refer to my... Just, oh, man, stop talking about that P word. <laughs> <laughs> one date, though. Just one date. All right. One date. One date. One date. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Blueberry Beck is actually online right now. Hmm? Yo, what's up, bitch? I mean, Blueberry Beck, Thank you. my boy. Thank you. Yo, she down. She down. She says she'll pick you up tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Well, I don't, I don't have to go pick her up. That's the beauty of it. See, it's already working in your benefit. Times are changing. They picking us up now. Open my door. You feel me? Let me hold some money. Okay. Well, I guess I can dig that. <laughs> hey, it's Doug, boy. <laughs> Hi. Blueberry Becky, right? Rebecca Charles, actually. Oh, okay. Rebecca. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Jesse, he he told me. Uh, yeah, I know how Jesse can be. Oh, you do? Right, he's something I else. Do. <laughs> that Jesse. Um. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where are my manners? Um, come inside, please. Thank you. Wow, your house is beautiful. Yeah, I'm a start broker. A lot of hard work. I bet it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, look, let me go get my jacket and we can leave. I'll be right here. All right. Man, you are just gorgeous. I, I didn't expect you to look like this. Well, what did you expect? Let me go get my jacket. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> I will. 
Damn, what time is that? My time. What's this? Tiffany's makes pans. Platinum. Yup. I just want to put my watch around here. You didn't see a watch. You don't need a watch. We got cell phones now. All right, let's get it later. You, don't need it. you look so good. <laughs> Thank you. You ready? Yes. Let's go. No, no, stop. That's like your fifth drink. I think you need to slow down right now. I have a high tolerance for alcohol. It's okay. Is there any more? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's all empty. Drank it all. So. Ricardo. Who? Ricardo. Jesse tells me you're a baseball player. Uh, did he now? He says you're gonna score a lot of goals for me. Is this true? You don't watch baseball, do you? No, I don't. But are you gonna score for me? Because you can score. I'll let you score. Well, I'm sorry, I don't play baseball. Jesse was lying. What? Yes. I was gonna be on the next Baseball Wives. You don't even have a Baseball wife. Exactly. That was gonna be me. You know what, you're not eating this, so I'm just gonna take it for later. But you still have your food over there. I know, but I'm, mm. I'm gonna eat that. The foundation that I am built on is under honesty, okay? That's just strictly what I believe. That's my, that's my mantra, okay? And I, I believe that most women, I think, are put off by a guy who's honest and- Not me! Well, 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 thank you. Because I'm glad, and to be quite honest with you, I don't think I can do this. I can't do this. You can't do this? You can't do this? Oh, you can do this. I uh, was kind of tempting, but you know, I've been, I've been through a breakup, so I'm, I think I'm fine right now. You too? Me too. Just last week. What about you? Five years in August. Wait, what, five years? Waiter! No, no. Waiter! Waiter. No, One more, wait. two, make it two. No, no. And a birthday cake. It's oh. his birthday. It's, it's not my birthday. What are you doing? Shh. Why are you so loud? No, no, Why no, are you no so I'm loud. Fine. Shh. What are you doing? It's free. It's free. It's okay. I don't care. You if ain't it's gotta free. pay for it. I don't care. You good? I don't need any free cake right now. <laughs> you always need some free cake. Always. You want? Are you gonna eat that? yourself. Because I was thinking. Maybe on the ride home? Oh, my God. We can eat it later. It's, oh, Jesus. Trust oh, me, on the Lord. way home, you gonna thank the, me. Um, the, 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 oh. in, in the bag. I'm gonna save it. Well, yeah. yeah. We yeah. make it got you. <laughs> uh, um, a we check, did. please. Yo. Mm-hmm. What was the emergency, Jesse? Can I get a good morning? What's How up? you doing? What's up? How's my grandma? Nothing right? No, you cannot. You called me at 6 a.m. Okay. You know I ain't no... No. I know. I'm that sorry was early. That. My bad, okay? But I came away because I need a favor from you. A favor? Yes. So your crazy-ass girlfriend come stalking me? Uh, no thank you. That won't happen again. I need you to spend one night with my friend, please. Please. <laughs> Bye, Jesse. Wait, come on, wait, no. Sam. Can you just please hear no. me out? You don't even know what it is yet. Now, I'm not asking you to go across the moon and bring back some silver and diamonds. I'm just asking you to spend not some today. time with him. You don't even have to have sex with him. What's up, man? Listen, man, I heard through the grapevine that uh, you and Becky hit it off last night, huh? Are you serious? Be, hey, be careful. You ain't 
half monkey. Listen, yes, man. Listen, she told me how freaky you was, man, tying up and stuff. You know what? It's always them quiet ones. I tied her hands up because she stole my watch and my favorite pin. Did she tell you that? Man, you always talking about that. Hold on. Sinjaya, what's your name? Aisha, come around here where I can see you. You always talking about that dang old pen, man. I hate that pen. But you always judging people. That's your problem. So did you ever think that she probably needed for school, some work or something? Huh? How about that? The pen is not ugly, and she stole from me, okay? And you're talking about I'm judging her? Okay, yeah, well, she may be a little off. She may be a little weird, but guess what? Everybody got their problems, man. All right? Stop judging people. Everybody make mistakes. You said it yourself. All right, it's all about making mistakes and making the imperfections in women perfect. It's about love, man. She's a thief. Thou shalt not steal. Remember that? Oh, my God. Here you go with this Jesus talk again. Hold on. Here we go again with this Jesus talk again and stuff, man. What, was this? what are you doing? Listen, you know what? <laughs> I'm closing the chapter on Jesse the Matchmaker, all right? No, give me one more chance, please, man. Come on, man. Just, just give me one more chance. Don't leave. Don't don't give up on me, man. It's just like, all right, man. Look, man. Uh, uh, no strippers. I got a girl. She's perfect for you. What does she do? At, at, at the, you know, she's a counselor here. At well, she's a counselor here. You're lying. Trust me, man. Just trust me. Give me one more chance. You love me. All right, man. And, and this is the last time. And after this, you're going to leave me alone and you're going to let me stay in my complete solitude, all right? So I can live my life and be single until I decide to date. All right. Bye. Hey, where y'all parents at? <laughs> you said she needed everything, huh? Right. <laughs> wow. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Potpourri? No, oh, okay. Pear. Oh, uh, it's pear. Yeah, I, that's what I use in it. So anyway, <laughs> tell me more about yourself. Besides, you know, you being a killer at night. Here you go. <laughs> what? What's so funny? You. you. The joke of calling my night job a killer. It was cute in the beginning, but the joke is over. Huh? It's not funny anymore. Wait, what's the joke? The joke of you calling it a killer instead of it. Yo! What is this? I, I mean, uh, uh, you guys look amazing. You look beautiful, man. You look very handsome. You got wine. You got chips. Listen, can I talk to you really fast outside, please, Samantha? No, yeah, you. I'm going to talk. All right, wait one second. Uh, what are you doing here? Hey, man, you look nice, man. I like this suit, man. It's good. Kirk Franklin suit. I'm a people say. No. Um, yeah, Listen. I mean, well, I just really wanted to... Like, oh, wait, don't change the subject, man. Get the suck out your mouth. What are you doing here? All right, truth be told, I brought $5 for her. Kind of having problems paying her back. I just need to talk to her about, you know, extending that loan. $5? Hey, man, people die with less. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're, you're, you're crazy. You don't yeah. have any sense. Excuse me. I'm going to talk to you outside, please. <sighs> shut up, shut up. All right, look, here's your money right here, okay? Whatever you do, you do not tell him that you're an escort. You are an after-school counselor, okay? After-school counselor. Are you, what, what is wrong with you, huh? You can't lie about those kind of things. Oh, are well, we gonna lie today? No, we are not. I'm yes, not we are. lying. Listen, the boy was in a bad relationship. He got his heart broke. He still got an ice box where his heart used to be. You gotta go with me on this one. No, okay. You know what? I cannot sit here and kick it and lie to that man. So guess what? After tonight, you can keep your money and find somebody else to look out for you. Well, you gonna go in there and kick him on no, kick no, your ass. No, That's what no, I'm gonna do. No. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you Whoa. cheated. No, no, no. You, oh, you cheated. I cheated. Yes, you cheated. No, you cheated. No, it's cool. It's you, you're lucky you're cute. I've been letting you win this whole time. Oh, I'm cute now. <laughs> Early out with cancer. Now I'm just cute. You just cute. All right, well, look, if you don't know how to play the game, all you got to do is admit it. Say, Ricky, I don't know how to play. Mm, whatever. Yeah. It's the wine. Oh, you're throwing the cards in now? <laughs> it's wine. the wine, whatever, and you better drink up. Okay. Hey. What? <laughs> it's a friendship. It's a friendship. Mm-hmm. And whatever else God has planned for us in our lives. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. So you're one of those perfect Christian brothers, huh? No, man. No? Christian, yes, but you know, perfect, far from that. But huh. I do have faith. In what? 
<laughs> everything that God does for me. May not like them all, and I may not understand it, but I do know that everything that's happened to me has served some type of purpose. Huh. Wow, that's a good way to look at life. Yeah. I wish I could think like that. Well, how do you look at life? <laughs> like a curse. Like I'm walking in hell in my biggest nightmare and I have absolutely no idea how to get out. But I'm working on it, you know? One step at a time, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, just, I had a long week. You have no idea, just no, no, forgive no, no. me. Listen, 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 listen. You, you know, we all have our moments, all right? Yeah. You know? We all have moments, so. Well, thank you. Just gotta take it one step at a time. But you wanna know what I do when I get lost? What? Open up my Bible. You know, when I ask God huh. for direction. And the crazy thing is that every time I do that, mm -hmm. the verse that it lands on always is the one that I needed to see. Hmm. I never read the Bible. Really? Yeah, it's just, I don't know, the whole idea just confuses me. <laughs> it's like, you read it, but how do you know that message was for you and what it even means? You don't. You just, you just let it flow. I mean, it's just something that you feel in your heart. Huh. I mean, it's just, it brings a, that, that clarity, a sense of peace to everything that you're going through. When is your birthday? April 20th. Shut up, I'm the 19th. No way. Yes, I kid you not, I promise. Wow. Dirty, dirty. 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 <laughs> That's weird. Ooh. So what are your plans for your birthday? Ugh. Just another birthday to me. I'm just trying to get my life together. It's like, I don't know, you know when you were a kid, it seems like time is going by so slow and then you blink and you're 29. Yeah. Hmm. This just isn't where I picture my life at 30 when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real. You know what you sound like? What? Somebody that's been talking to Jesse. Yes, I have. You too? Yeah, he's giving me the same old speech. He gave me the speech what? and it's like, I get them, but hmm. I don't know where to start. Well, just do it. Don't think about it. Just, just, just do, it. do it. Just listen. Get out there. Get in the playing field of life and go for it. Whatever it is that you want. You make it sound so easy. It is. Easy for you to say, Mr. Stockbroker. I'm sure you had it pretty good coming up. Hey, look. I may be a little fortunate, but things weren't always easy. Hmm. You know, I got my story. Everybody asked for it. Yeah? Yeah. So what's missing from this semi-perfect puzzle of yours? You want me to share it all with?
What's up? You want to see me? Yes. Have a seat. What's up? Come on, what you mean, what's up? I told you I quit. Is that so? Yes. You give me this pathetic speech about how you want to get your life together, and then you go and sleep with Jesse's friend for $500? What? Wait a minute, who, who told you that? And I'm not having sex with him, I didn't sleep with him. You know what? I don't need this. I don't need it. Listen, if you're gonna walk, you walk. But you are not going to do business on the side without me. I ain't did no business on the side without you, okay? I needed the money. Oh, you don't get it, do you? You're always going to need the money. No matter how you think you're gonna quit and move on with your life, you can't erase your past. <laughs> and that desperation is always gonna lead you right back here. <laughs> I mean, come on, let's get serious. Who else is going to give you a job? This is all you know. We've all been you, Samantha. That's not my name. <laughs> no matter how much makeup you put on, all the fancy clothes you wear, you'll always be Samantha Kim. Now, I'll see you next week. You leave my 20% on the table. Well to the well, well, well. My main man. You know, from the looks of things, man, you know, you got your Kirk Franklin suit all on, distraught, you know, and I'm assuming, if my mind tells me correctly, that you got that puss. Hey, listen, didn't I tell you to stop using that word around you? And to answer your question, no, I didn't do anything. We just went out to eat, we had a great time, we came back here, we talked for a minute, <laughs> we talked for hours, wow. And um, we just slept together right here on the couch. And then um, it's one of the best times I've had in a long time. Thank you, brother. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let's wait. You mean to tell me you had a bad chick in the loft there, which happens to be my favorite part of your crib, on this couch, and you didn't get the yams? What, what, what was all this? Uh, we had a talk. What, what's, are you counseling each other, talking about what do you do? Oh, no, no, uh, we just. Well, hold on, what, let me tell you something. What is this? You, you was quick. What is this? What is that? Listen, this is, this is from the kitchen. You must have took it from down there. Well, look. Now listen. Wait, but wait. Okay. Good thing that's over with, though. Because you know why, my friend? I've been doing a lot of thinking. <laughs> and I'm just be honest with you. I, I, don't, I don't think she was really too good for you anyway, man. I really don't. What are you talking about? She was perfect. As a matter of fact, we have a lot in common. You say what? Yeah. Uh-huh. And she even left her number for me. To call her back. She left her number for you? Yeah, she sure did. I have it right here. <sighs> there it is. And look, she put a little heart right there. You know what? Hey, hey. I'm thinking. Don't, just, just, don't, don't even pay attention to that, because it's trash, man. Don't even pay attention to that, all right? Wait. Trust me, you're wasting your time. Why? Let it go. Because <sighs> she's an well, S. You know what? Oh, my goodness. I should have figured this out. You like her, too. No. What? <laughs> You should have told me that, no, Jess. No, 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 Ricky, man. I do not like that girl. Trust me. I do not like that girl, bro. And what's the problem? <sighs> Look, man, you're my best friend, all right, man? Yeah. All right, when you hurt, I hurt. When you cry, I cry. We cry together, okay? I'm just thinking you should just, you know, take things a little slow, man. That's all. Take things slow. <laughs> Wasn't you the one that was telling me that my clock was ticking 
and I'm about to turn 30. Come on, man. Don't nobody be caring what I say. I don't even know what I be saying. I keep telling everybody this, man. 30 is a new 20, all right? Quit your car, man. What has gotten into you? Nothing, man. Nothing. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I, um... Oh, no, I was just, um, moving some things around. Um, yeah, I actually... I, I yeah, I, I was expecting your call. What? How are you? That's good. Tonight? Um, let me check my schedule real quick. Yeah, tonight actually will work out. Um, eight o'clock, eight p.m. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll see you then. Great. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was so good. Yes. Wow, who knew you could cook like that? Um. Well, you know, let's just say it's a special recipe for my mother. You know, I wanted to use it for a special occasion, and I thought that, you know, this was that special time. Well, what is that you're... Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm good. You know, um, everything's in someone's eyes. What are you talking about? You can tell how someone's feeling by just looking in their eyes. Okay, well, what do my eyes tell you? <sighs> that you're going through something right now and you don't want to talk about it. You know, um, look, I know we just met and um, I really had a good time last night. But if you're going through something and you need to talk about it, you know I'm here. Really? I really don't get it. Why are you single? <laughs> Please help me understand. Why am I single? Well, I was, I was with my ex, Lisa, for like five years. And mm -hmm. one day I just came home and she was gone. She didn't leave a note. She didn't leave a, she didn't call. She didn't leave anything behind, she just disappeared. And mm. I don't know, I guess I've just been a little closed off since then from trying to open up to anybody. I, you know, I've been scared. I don't know. I really treated her well, too. So let me get this straight. You've been single now for five years? Yeah. But I'm sure you, you know, have flings here and there for sex and stuff, right? <laughs> No, no flings, definitely no in-betweens, and no sex. And you didn't even try to have sex with me? I know. Guilty. <laughs> oh, I get it. No, I got it now. That's what tonight was for, right? To get me in bed? Huh? Whoa. You know what? What was I thinking? I am such an no. idiot. Wait, what are you talking <laughs> You're about? You're good. You really deserve two wait. thumbs up. You know, you almost got me. No, wait, listen, almost. listen. Wait, what are you talking about? I almost got you. Yes. No, you... <laughs> wait, you you think I did all of this just to have sex with you or sleep with you? I mean, look, I know we slept with each other, but it was just... We we, we just slept with each other. We didn't do anything. I... Come mm. on, that was my mother's secret recipe for crying out loud. I wouldn't use my mother's secret recipe to have sex. It's sacred in our family. I can't. My mother would kill me if she knew that I was abusing her. Okay, all right, all right. And for all I know, you bought this delicious cake over here that you said is your special cake that you would bake. You probably did that to get me in bed. Oh, I don't okay. know. I don't know your history with <laughs> this cake. One. Good one. I mean, but it looks very sugary. It is very sugary. And it looks really good and delicious. Hmm. Mm hmm, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> this is good. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to play a game? A game? 
Yes, a game, um, so we can get to know each other a little better. You are too cute. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, you gotta ask me a question, mm -hmm. or I ask you vice versa, and okay. we gotta pick a category. So, for example, let me start off. What's your favorite music? Jazz, I like jazz. Jazz, mm -hmm. wow, yep. never would've thought. Mm -hmm. What about you? Rhythm and blues. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, R&B. Okay, what's next? Okay, well, you go ahead and choose. I choose, okay. Oh, wait, you know what? The first one was an example, so I'll go ahead and choose this time. So I'll, okay. This is for real now. Thank right. you. What's your favorite color? Favorite color? Mm -hmm. Black? Black. Yeah. Interesting. What's yours? Okay. <laughs> um, mine's is yellow. Yellow? Yes. Whose favorite color is yellow? Yes. Yellow, yellow, yellow is bright. It's, it has a sense of harmony, you know, like the feng shui. Feng who? Feng shui. It's basically talking about all the colors. They give off great energy in life in general, in all predictable ways. Huh. You always want your colors to have some type of meaning in your life, some type of clarity to bring balance into your life. So what does black mean? Black is just black. Black is the street. Black is the nighttime without the stars. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not even a color. It's always dark. Yeah. Uh, uh, but you know, anyway, okay, so let's keep going. Now My you turn. ask me a question. Pick one. Oh, I got a good one. Sports. Sports, okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Sports fanatic. Favorite basketball team. Oh, pff, that's easy. Lakers, baby. Oh, I was hoping you said that. Kobe all day. Kobe all day? <laughs> Love it. Yeah, my girl. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. About. <laughs> Going forever. She, she, well, you know, forty dollars on the Greyhound around that time to take you in. Take you long time. Mm -hmm. And that's the official Greyhound with the dog right. on the side. <laughs> <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Santa Bear, I think it's time for you guys to get school. <laughs> <laughs> Says the grown man in the tight purple shirt. Uh oh. Hey, what grown man wears a tight purple shirt? This guy right here. First of all, <laughs> it's a comfortable, comfortable purple shirt. And purple is a color of pleasantness. <laughs> How let many drinks right have you had? Yes, man. I've only had a couple of drinks. But let me repeat what I'm what I'm saying to you, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm very comfortable in my shirt. See, right. Purple is a color of pleasantness, okay? Uh -huh. Listen, you're in this medium Backstreet Boy shirt. Oh. Okay? Thank you very much. Huh? And you're wearing wristbands for your exclusivity <laughs> to all the clubs across the world. Hey, 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 hey. First of all, this is Sex Zombie. All right? This is Croatia's number four, top of the charts, 1987. All right? You, you, and you need to respect. All right? Wait, hold on, Inglorious Bastards. What the hell is Sex Zombie? What? what is, see, you know what gets me about you people, Dom? No disrespect. What? First off, Jason Statham, you got bacon collar on. Good call on the shirt. It's that white people shit, man. Rick, heard you got a new lady. Yes, I do. And this man over here, Mr. Mashmaker himself, hooked me up with him. Please do not give me too much props. I do what I do when I can't do really? it. Really? Cheers, sir. All right, let me see a picture of this. You know she your screensaver. Go on and show it off. She's not my screensaver. Let me see this thing. Come on, man. Check it out. She bad, right? She looks really familiar. Nah, she's. I mean, everybody looks. Yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody looks familiar, man. Nah, <laughs> <for everybody. laughs> I swear I've seen her before. Okay, Don. Tell us, where have you seen her before? Have you seen her? Tell us. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I've seen her on the internet or something. Oh, uh, you know, you have to remember everybody has a social network inside, man. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's like a webcam. Something like that. Not a webcam, man. I, trust me, Dom. Um, I've, I've known this girl a long time. She's a good girl. Good girl. Works for kids. Only thing you probably seen doing a webcam is raising money for kids, man. Charity work, something like that. Charity. She's a good girl, Dom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, no. I'm gonna call you. <laughs> so that's that's how you're gonna play this. Then. Uh, that's how we play. 
All right, all right, fine. Hey, you might as well go ahead and put in because you're just going to be donating to the Dominic Bank. All right, well, you're about to go bankrupt, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you what. I think everybody's going to go bankrupt. You know, Rick, uh, listen, man, all seriousness, you really should. Uh, I swear I've seen that girl before, man. Like, I'm just saying, she's trouble, like they all are. But maybe she's a little more than most, if my memory serves me right. Check her out. Mm. Just check her out. That's all I'm saying, man. Well, there's only one thing I can say about that. All in. <laughs> all in, baby. Let's Y'all got it. Ball out. Check that. You're so mean. You are so mean. <laughs> yeah, well, it is what it is, right? It is what it is, huh? I've been here damn near 20 years. You think you're just gonna come in here and meet some guy, fall in love with him, have a little Prince Charm, y'all just gonna go away together? Come on, Samantha. Face it, you're a whore. You're a whore. You are such a hypocrite. One minute you praising me, the next minute you putting me down, and then you gonna sabotage my relationship? Yeah, you've been here a little bit too long. This this whole situation has completely destroyed you. You are disgusting to me. You call me a hypocrite, now you walking in, you won't even say what you are or what you aren't, and you come in here, you ungrateful bitch. I took you off the streets. You would not have gotten anywhere without me. You know what? You ain't even worth it. Look at you. I may not know who I am yet, but I know who I don't want to become, and that's you. You ain't nothing but an old, miserable woman who preys on young, naive girls to get them to follow your pathetic path. Have a nice life, Linda Daniels. Oh, I'm sorry, Victoria Jackson. I bet no one knows who she is. Yo, where have you been? I've been calling you. We had reservations since at, at nine o'clock. I forgot. You forgot? Yeah. You just left here at 6 o'clock and said you was going to get ready. What are you talking about? I did, and then something came up. All right, well, just forget about it, because I I was just concerned, okay? I thought something might have happened to you. Look, I don't know if I can do this. I'm not good for you. Wait, wait a minute. What is, where's this coming from? What are you talking about? Ricky, I stood you up, turned my phone off on purpose. Look, I don't know what you're going through because you don't ever talk to me. Look. Just look at me. Please. Look at me. Eventually, you're going to have to break down that wall and let somebody in. Damn it, Ricky. You just don't get it, do you? Well, then why don't you help me get it? I am not good enough for you, okay? You have your whole life figured out and I'm still lost. Why don't you tell me what's really going on, huh? What's really going on? You want to know what's going on? Yeah. Okay. I... Can we just lay down, please? Yeah. All right. Hey, come here. Are you out of your damn mind? I can't walk away. Oh, my God. Are you, are you serious? You think two nights has obviously turned into three weeks? Look at me, Sammy. He's never going to take you serious. You're an escort. Don't you understand that? Okay, first of all, I quit, and we don't need to tell him about my past. Well, guess what? I can't do that because that's my best friend. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to pack your bags, you need to go, disappear, never come back. Yeah, and do the same exact thing that Lisa did to him. Now, I can't do that. Well, you need to tell the truth. How about that? No, oh, but I like him so much. Jesse, no, please don't make me tell him. Look, I never met anybody like him before, okay? He makes me feel special, like I'm worth something. Please, just yeah. hear me out. Just That's let because me... he doesn't know what your going rate is for, and you're costing me a lot of money. So with that said, you need to just get your shit. You need to leave, never come back. Either you tell him or I will, okay? Wow. Okay, my going rate, huh? Fine, I'll tell him today. Asshole. 
Thank you. And if you get your stuff together, I might have a job for you later. Clean yourself up, all right? And take that doggone rag off your head. You ain't no, you ain't Cinderella, Jesus. <sighs> so? You need to fix the dishwasher. What time is she supposed to be coming? Uh, oh, I don't know. She should have been here already. No. What are talking about? Well, okay. That's <sighs> neat. So did you try calling her? Yeah, let me call her again. I mean, maybe she had to work late or something? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Look. Ready? That's funny. Her phone is dead. I've been trying to call her for the past half hour. Right. And she did say she had to work earlier. That's what I'm saying. That she probably had to stay late at work. I don't have help. Well, you... <laughs> Jesus, what's up with your house? Tell to stop leaving the windows open, Ma. I don't leave your windows open. Uh, let me see. I don't. I don't think I have. I, actually, I do have a work number. It's the first number she called me from about a week ago. Let's see. So let's see. This is getting cold. Jesse, I know that. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. All right. I bet. Boom. There it is. Get the oh. show on the road. All right. S&M <sighs> Escort Services, this is Linda. How may I satisfy your needs? I have to say. Perfection. Hey, so... So what's up? What's happened? Um, not that she, she left work late, so. All right, well, good. So we'll get the show on the road because I cannot wait to meet this woman. She... This woman who's made my son so happy. Yeah. s and Escort Services, this is Linda. How may I satisfy your needs? Yeah. Samantha Kim. It'll be all right. The men just loved her. Oh my God, I'm hey, so hey, hey! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Forgive You're me. here so now. Sorry. You're here now. That's oh my God, important. there was a two-car oh. traffic jam. It was a 405, and then my phone no, 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 died, no, no, and I'm no, no, just no, no, like, no, no, no. ah! No worries, but it's all so nice to meet you. So that 405 is crazy. <laughs> that's your final Such day. a pleasure to oh, meet you. Oh my God. Oh, you're the one that's hey, making my son so happy. That's him. Hey, babe. Hey. What's up? I don't know what's up with you. You talked to you talked to Jesse today? No, I haven't talked to Jesse. But you know oh, who okay. I talked to? I talked to Linda. Linda? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, Linda. Let me tell you about Linda. Mm -hmm. I'm saying her boss. Wow, she's a sweetheart. Yeah, she really is. <laughs> she's like your number one in the company. Really? See? Yeah. I you are the number one teacher. That the, is fucking the awesome. The number one, right? Awesome. Who would have thought? No, no, not to. Um, after school, after school counselor, yeah. Not mm, the teacher. No, 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 no. Even does weekends too. But didn't you say that she's mm. teacher? Mm. No, uh, no. I've gotten it confused. I'm uh, after school. I teach English tutoring for. Oh yeah, yeah, school. yeah. She does. She does a lot of yeah, tutoring. Yeah. She does. She tutors <laughs> the hell out of her students. Okay. So you do after school counseling as well, but not teaching. Okay, I'm confused. It's actually but it's English also tutoring. English That's, tutoring. Yeah, for an okay, so program. wow. You must really love kids. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. Kids I bet great. you do a little cool. French too, right? You speak a little French. <laughs> Oh. He's so funny. Yeah, his name is that's my boy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so I'm starving. Mm. I bet you are. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I do. Well, not actually my kid, but mm -hmm. I adopted my nephew when my mom and my my sister they passed away in a car accident. Oh my god. Yeah. God, I'm so sorry to hear oh, that. It's okay, thank you though. Wow. Well, wow, why didn't you bring him? Oh, he's with his dad. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I hear you make a mean cake. Ricky has been bragging on it. Yes, he did, and I have to admit that I am a little jealous. No, oh, stop. You do not have to be jealous. I'm, I'm sure serious. you're better than me. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that, but... I'm sure. Well, I could get the dessert, and we'll see. Okay, that sounds good. All right. I will be back. Mother is here. And 
Voila. There we go. Ooh, mm, this is mm. so good. I'm going to finish this up so I can have a piece. All right. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Hey, can you go outside and talk for just a second? Now what? No, no apple pie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, we'll go outside and talk for a second. Mom, we'll be right back and we're gonna enjoy the dessert. <laughs> When were you going to tell me that you were a paid-for-hire prostitute? Um, excuse me? You know what I just said? Well, you must do this with all your clients, huh? Well, obviously, because I called, and they said that you were the number one escort. Well, that's good for you. Just at least you're good explain, at something. Okay, just let me explain, okay? I can explain How this to you. How much did Jesse pay you? Would you calm down? Your mom is in there. How much did Jesse pay you? Answer the question. How much? Five hundred. Damn you, cheap. Look, it's, it's not what you think, okay? He didn't pay me to hang out with you any other night except for the first night, okay? I wanted to be there. I wanted to be with you. You throw money at me. Famous, I. Right? This should cover all your troubles. I don't want your money. Just wait until I get my hands on Jesse. Okay, look, leave Jesse out of it. It's not his fault. He it's told fault. me to leave after it's the fault. first night, but I couldn't because I was falling for you and you were falling for me too, okay? You gonna walk away. I'm sorry, okay? I left an envelope in your drawer in your office. Just please read it and just hear me out. Just hear everything I gotta say, okay? You have no idea. I don't know why I'm doing this song, but this one definitely has no meaning, but here it goes. What's up, man? I see you found your way inside my house again. Yeah, I know, man. Look, I just came over to say I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean things to turn out the way they did. I was just trying to look out for my boy, and things got out of hand. You're a great person, man. You did things the right way, and it's like I love, it's like I live through you sometime, all right? Hey, relax, Jesse. I'm all right, okay? It was meant to happen. Wait, so you're not mad at me? Nah, I'm over it. So have you talked to her? Yeah, she's gonna come over later on with her nephew. Mm. <laughs> nephew. Well, look, man, I just came by to say I'm sorry, all right? Gotta get home to the wife. Hmm? Yeah, I gotta get home to the wife, man. I'm trying to, this whole monogamous, whatever that word is thing, I'm trying to do it right. Maybe she'll stop complaining as much as she do, you know? <sighs> hey, we're good for you. Thank you, man. See you later. Yeah. Tell your wife I said hello. Will do. And your kids. <laughs> Not my kids, man. <laughs> Still ain't changed. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, let me get in. Josh! Josh, baby, come on, let's go. 
Josh, baby, come say bye to Mr. Ricky. <laughs> he never wants to leave. All right, let's go over there. Wait. No, Ricky, look, I love you, okay? I am in love with you. And I know all we can be is friends, but, but that's not what I want, okay? A friend? A friend once told me that we may not like what's going on and we may not understand it, but either way, it happens for a reason. Our meeting you was not a mistake, okay? And if it was, it was the best mistake in my life. I don't know about you, but I'm willing to take a step of faith, okay? Don't just look at me. Please say something. Say something, please, anything. Just... I want you. I love you. Damn. out. Me too. So, have you made any plans for your 30th birthday tomorrow? <laughs> Stop it with that. No. Look, it's just another birthday for me. No, it's not. It's the dirty 30. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Listen. Come on now. Look at me. I am looking at you. I'm good. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with everything I have. You know that. I'm good, man. Trust me. All right. You always worry. <laughs> so, so, what'd you get her? That's what we should be talking about. I got her a dress. Wow. Wow. Somebody's in love. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> She's so silly. <laughs> oh, I can't talk now. <laughs> I do, thank you. No, you look amazing. Thank you. So are you ready to celebrate your 30, 30? You know what? Yes, I am. All right, so let's start off with a toast. Well, what are we toasting to? Uh, Josh, grab your glass, I have some water for you. What are we toasting to? We're toasting to love, our family, and the next generation of love. Oh. <laughs> Stay and by. God, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Say about true gentlemen. And also in embracing life, the next generation, and whatever else God has planned for our lives. I like that. Me too. Oh, the best part. Okay, the best part is coming. Yeah. <sighs> okay, really? Well, I know I'm not a pro, but, um, you did not bake this cake. Are you serious? I sure did bake a cake. No, you didn't. I did. I did. I baked the cake. That's the cake. Okay. Um, I gotta but taste you this. still owe me mine for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So, and you're baking that. Uh-huh. That was that's the catch for this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, deal. But here you go. Okay, let you know I'm gonna be a critic. Mmm. Okay. Did your mom help you bake this cake? No, my mom. Yes, didn't. she did. No, she didn't. This is all me. <laughs> okay. I paid attention. I see. I'm impressed. All right. Come here. Uh oh, am I in trouble? No, you're in a lot of trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. the birthday girl at, man. Oh, happy birthday, Kayla. Oh, thank you. What's Jesse. up, man? You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Smell good, too. I'll see you. All right. All right, keep your nose. Right, so y'all be man. back. I got a surprise. So you ready for your dirty 30, man? Hmm, <sighs> don't remind me. I know. <laughs> happy birthday, baby. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, man. Happy Why birthday. you playing? <laughs> Make a wish. Let's make a wish. Hey, so. 
I want to be light skinned. I knew it. That's his, that's his, that's his wish. <laughs> yeah, but it's a brown cake. Okay. Right, time to celebrate. Let's go. You can get some of that seat over there. Hey, hey, hey. hey. See, hey. Hence Happy the seat birthday, that has baby. no food here. Now, you knew I was coming over here. You were not supposed to be here this soon. This was intimate. Thank you. I was intimate us. when you got a little boy right there. Well, he's a part of us. So you family. were not supposed to be here this early. You know, they talk about stuff like that on more you having sex that's with okay. kids. Um, yeah, you should actually get the hair off your eyebrow, and you've been around kids exactly. just now. So Thank why do you have you. hair on your eyebrow? Relax. I'm only doing this because this is my place. Your place. For relaxation. Mm -hmm. My premises, so don't follow my lead. All right, let's go. Right. I'm turning over a new lead, so you should too. Yeah, that is good, man. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, isn't it? Yep. You finally turned yourself in, man. I'm proud <laughs> of you, man. <laughs> you make it sound like I'm about to walk through some prison doors mm. or something. You are. <laughs> Trust me, man. All right, you are going to prison for life. Only difference is you're not waking up next to a whole bunch of guys. <laughs> you're waking up to one crazy woman who's probably been watching you sleep, wondering if you're having dreams about another woman. Oh, my God, and wait till she gets pregnant. Oh, everything you do is wrong. I breathe and I'm wrong. Hey, relax. Please, don't incorporate your life with mine. I think we're going to be fine. I'm just keeping it real, man. Yeah, but thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I, you're welcome. I appreciate your realness. <laughs> wow. Ricky, man. What's up? We've been through a lot, man. And uh, I want you to know, man, I'm I'm happy for you. You deserve to be happy. You're a good man, man. And no matter what I say, no matter what I do, I'm going to always be here for you. You found me, man. <laughs> hey, don't get all sentimental on me like my mom, man. Man, forget you, man. Yeah, so. <sighs> so I guess I made the cutoff time. My friend, you made the cutoff time, man. You did. I didn't think you was gonna make it. But since you did make it, you ready to go to Vegas? You ready to go turn up? Uh -huh. Get some midgets, some butt naked horses or something, man. Some crap, some blackjack, some spades, some sun jack of horses, sun donkey, one the, night stands. I don't, I don't care. Know Let's about go turn the butt up. Butt naked midgets and the donkeys and um, all of the rest of the stuff. But we turn, we're turning, we're turning in, okay? So we're turning on a regular balance. But let, let me tell you something. No strippers. Oh, man, come on, man. No strippers. <sighs> Listen, I forgot to tell you, Chocolate Thunder and them going to be out there, too, man. What? But it's because they celebrating Strawberry London's uh, master degree, OK? Oh, Those man. need to celebrate, too. <laughs> I thought you were turning over a new leaf. I am turning over a new leaf. What's all that talk about? I am turning over a new leaf, man. But I just got this itch that it's just like, I don't know, man. It's just like, I, they, look, they're going to be out there the same time we are. I didn't control this. The universe controlled this. So the universe want me to get that last minute pussy. And I'm asking you from my friend one more night and I turn in with you. All right. And then we, you know what What else we're going to do? We're going to turn in that word, the P-U-S-S-Y word. We're going to really turn that in. I, no, so no, 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 Ricky. We're, we're turning that word in. Okay? What do you want to call it? Because I think the universe is asking you to go to an AA meeting. Do you want to call gotta, it you vagina? Pride. Passion? I, I Glowing wanna, eye. I want to call it what it is. A vagina? Marriage. <laughs>